Developing now, a 14-year-old girl from Apopka disappears while visiting Washington State. The only clue left behind, her cell phone tossed on the side of a highway. Caitlin Barlow's picture splashed all over social media. The FBI in Seattle posting photos of Fox 35's Valerie Boyd joins us now with what she's learning about Barlow's disappearance. Valerie? Hey there, Stephen. Well, there's three locations that are pretty important here. Let me show you this map. Uh but some big Florida names will also be taking the stage. Political expert Mark Mills joins us now to discuss the RNC. Before we get to those big names tonight, what has been your take so far? There's been a lot of drama, a lot of GOP infighting to even get Donald Trump named as the nominee. What's your take right. on that? Well, I think the dump Trump kind of thumped the other day. It's, it's over. A news edge alert. We knew it was bound to happen. A driver smashes into a car while playing Pokemon Go at the wheel. What's more, he hit a police car. An officer's body camera capturing the moment it happened in Baltimore. Take a look again. The driver showed police his phone connected to the Pokemon app. But when police asked if he was okay, the driver said, that's what I get for playing this dumb bleep game. Thankfully, no one was injured in the incident. Police have not yet decided on charges for the driver. Right now, federal and state health officials are joining forces tonight, looking into what could be the first Zika infection from a mosquito bite in Florida. This is a scary development because up until this point, the CDC says none of the more than 1,300 Zika infections in the U.S. were from mosquitoes here in our country. Most were travel related. 14 were sexually transmitted. One involved laboratory exposure. Now scientists say a lab test confirms a person in Miami may have been infected with the virus right here in Florida. Happy Apollo 11 day. NASA marking the 47th anniversary of man's first steps on the moon. Buzz Aldrin, who took those second steps after Neil Armstrong, tweeted this out today. Okay, some whipping and naying going on. A police officer getting down at a cookout. Why this viral video is so popular tonight. The News Edge at 6 coming right back. This is the News Edge at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephen Howe. As many as two people shot in the parking lot near a Winn-Dixie grocery store in Orange County. We begin with this News Edge alert. Deputies tell Fox 35 one person has been rushed to the hospital. We're working to get more information on the second victim. This is happening in a strip mall near a Winn-Dixie grocery store on Hiawassee Road in Orange County. Sky Fox over the scene showing deputies roping off the area with crime tape police officer shoots an autistic man's caretaker as he was lying in the street. Caitlin is here with the video that's being shared all over social media today. Yeah, this has really gone viral very quickly. And here we have the video. You can see cops have their guns drawn on this man. This is the caregiver. This is the autistic man. Now you can see the autistic man has something in his hands, but it was just a toy truck. He was lying on the ground with his hands up freezing. We're joined now by Fox's Phil Keating to discuss this even further. We have heard, Phil, from uh, Frederica Wilson, the congresswoman down there, very emotional, very upset about this. What's the overall feel from the community that you're seeing from people who have seen this video and responded? Pretty much exactly like the congresswoman. Uh, North Miami is a largely Haitian community just north of Miami proper. Breaking news now, a double shooting here when Dixie in Orange County. Kirsten Delgado is there live with the very latest. Kirsten, what can you tell us? The reporting live in Orange County, Kirsten Delgado, Fox 35 News. Kirsten, thanks. Across Florida, an update tonight. In the case of the escaped murder suspect in Broward County, we've been telling you about all week, 21-year-old Deontay Rosillas is finally behind bars. Is it possible that Justin Bieber can actually make people sick to their stomach? That's what his ex-neighbor is claiming. TMZ producer Gary Trock live in Hollywood with more on the story. So, Gary, this is all stemming from the infamous egging incident two years ago, right? Yeah, from 2014, uh, I remember Justin egged his neighbor's house. They got into a big screaming match. Uh, he had to pay $80,000 in repairs and damages for the house. But apparently those neighbors are still uh, saying that they have issues. They have um, mental distress, headaches, stomachs, uh, stomach aches. You were hired over six months ago. You come in as a first year coach. I'm sure you have a lot of thoughts about how it will be. Are things where you expected six months in? Yeah, I think we might be ahead of where I expected it to be. Uh, most of that has to do with our players. She was accompanied by Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer and Senator Bill Nelson. She also spent time talking with first responders who were on the scene the night of the massacre. 
After she spent time in Orlando, Clinton hopped a plane to Tampa, where she's holding a rally as we speak. Let's take a live look and listen in. And that includes standing up for common sense gun safety measures. Developing right now, the search for as many as three gunmen after gunfire breaks out in a mall in Munich, Germany, killing at least nine people. One of the dead may be a gunman. Police calling this a possible terror attack at this hour. Government officials telling people to stay off the streets as they hunt down the suspects. Here's a live view from our Daytona Beach Shores camera. Who does not want to be at Volusia County right now? Stephen, you and I should head over there in about 10 minutes. So I want to take you up on your offer to head to the beach after the show, so uh, I'll get my flip-flops ready. Get Thank the you, 409 headed down there. All righty. Well, good news for Orlando City soccer fans. The big piece the team will have back when they hit the field tomorrow night in Columbus. You're watching the News Edge at 6. If you're in the market for a new VCR, and who isn't, you better act fast. The last remaining maker of the VCR based in Japan is stopping production at the end of the month. The company is citing a declining market as people prefer DVD and Blu-ray discs to VHS tapes. Shocking. On tap for tonight in primetime, Bernie Sanders and First Lady Michelle Obama. Fox's Joel Waldman live in the city of brotherly love where not all is lovely at this hour. Right, Joel? Stephen, good uh, evening to you. Far from a love fest here. Taking a dip in the freezing waters of the Pacific Ocean in what's known as the straight plunge. Glenn Richard is joining us now, and I guarantee you the water that I recently enjoyed on the Atlantic Ocean of yeah. Florida was nowhere near that. Uh, no, yeah, water temperatures are in the uh, low to mid 80s. It's very warm out there, Stephen, and the air temperatures, of course, are. And former Republican Congressman Rick Keller, thank you both for joining us. I want to start with this recent email scandal. It's making major headlines, the resignation of Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Robert, let me start with you. How will this controversy impact the DNC where the theme is united together? The moto bag can take passengers for a spin around the terminal. Very cool. It comes with its very own handlebars and can go as fast as eight miles an hour. It's also equipped with its own GPS, so no more lost luggage. Looks fun. The News Edge at 6 coming right back. ISIS is claiming responsibility for the attacks. We're also learning authorities had actually been watching one of those terror suspects. Caitlin joins us now with what you found. Yeah, some really brand new details just emerging. Several sources, including the Washington Post and the Associated Press, are saying not only was one of the attackers on a watch list, he had been arrested twice. A little girl's life spared by just inches. Our Miami newsroom posting this picture of a family's van impaled by a pole from the front all the way to the back seat. Terrifying situation. Four-year-old Chloe Sosa was sitting in her car seat there in the back seat, riding to school in Coral Springs when her mother lost control of the van and hit a curb. She plowed into a metal pole that impaled the van, went through the passenger's headrest, and landed just inches from the child's head. I was sitting in my car seat, then we was singing, then then a, then a lamppost come to my, and then it hit my first head. Then we went to the hospital. How cute is she? That bump on her head there is her only injury. Her mother is grateful that they're both just fine tonight. Wow. Marriage can indeed be a balancing act, right? But a Texas couple took it to a whole new level. Take a look at this. It was a wedding like no other in Houston. As these two circus performers tied the knot 35 feet in the air on a trapeze wire. The couple admitted they were very nervous despite their experience performing in front of large crowds. Glenn Richards joining us now mm -hmm. to look at the forecast. You had a similar wedding, correct? Uh, yeah, no, we were on top of an elephant, so it was close. Okay, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Take a look at this video that's going viral tonight. A hawk gets into a staring match with a weather cam. Love this video. It's from a station in Lincoln, Nebraska, showing the hawk peering into the camera, perched up high on a tower. Unfortunately, though, the camera doesn't record audio, which is too bad since the hawk clearly had a lot to say. Wouldn't it be nice to show up for work by not physically showing up? How this robot will help you do that as you're watching the News Edge at 6. Clinton will be introduced by her daughter Chelsea tonight in prime time. Fox's Joel Waldman has been at the convention since the very start. Joel, tonight is Clinton's big night. What are the delegates expecting to hear? Well, Stephen, speaking of the delegates, some are having a hard time getting into the Wells Fargo Arena because... Have a great night.